We appreciate you joining us on Valley News Live. We're going to begin with a look at some unsettled weather. Everything changes and begins overnight. There's going to be a big and noticeable dip in temperatures, of course, because near record highs don't last too long. And after a couple days of that, things are changing and it looks like a very active weather pattern and some could see some much needed moisture. Let's get right to that. Uh, first and foremost, as the system works its way through tomorrow, we'll have falling temperatures late tomorrow night and into Friday morning. We could see some areas of light snow. The impact of which will be pretty minimal, but we'll have some snow and some wind and much colder temperatures to close out the work week. Through the weekend, we are going to see our area skirted by a couple of systems, mainly to the north from Winnipeg down south to the border. And then next week, the active pattern continues. This is actually a warm front approaching us, causing some snow on the cold side of that system to pass through parts of North Dakota. And from the Rockies, northern and central Rockies will have several storms or low pressure systems work their way through. Could provide some much needed rain by Tuesday of next week for a widespread area. We'll keep you posted on that because, as you know, the track and timing of these things can change. Oh, golly. We'll see about a week from today or for, for, from tomorrow, rather, as there could be a significant storm working its way through the northern plains. We'll keep you posted right now. A look at our home of economy view in Devil's Lake. Gorgeous skies. It is breezy. Temperatures are mighty warm. 67 at Hector Moorhead. You have 70 degrees at your airport. The sunrise this morning was 8 11 south wind at 16 miles per hour. We have had gusts over 40 miles per hour across parts of western Minnesota where temperatures remain in the 70s. Look at Wadena 73 A little cooler in Grand Forks at 68 degrees this hour. How about Bismarck 77 and 80 in Mobridge, South Dakota? All right, you can see the colorful changes about to take place though. Regina in the 30s. This cold air is going to be migrating southward, folks, and it's going to change our forecast as we talked about at the top. Near Saskatoon, a few showers of snow associated with that low pressure system as it's going to work its way through. Really, the energy from this system splitting to our north, and as we go through the next 24 hours, we're going to notice one thing changing. South winds are going to be gusty. They'll taper off this evening a little bit. It'll be a little more pleasant. The big blue line here, that's called a cold front. That's the leading edge of that colder air and it will be on its way. So overnight after we head to bed, we'll have partly cloudy skies. We'll see a band of clouds with this. The main thing that's going to happen is an abrupt change in the wind direction and some brief gusty north and northwest winds through the overnight. Notice the Western Dakotas could see uh, some frontal post frontal snow as we call it there as uh, things will be cold enough for snow. So we start the morning hours and head towards midday. It'll be warm enough for that to change back to rain for most locations. But notice it's a fairly narrow band and quite light. Gusty northwest winds tomorrow. Temperatures in the morning part of the day will be in the 40s. We'll briefly kiss 50 degrees in the south. Look at this, staying in the 30s and 40s up north. Some of our northern communities will have temperatures warmest first thing in the morning in the 40s and falling throughout the day. Our temperatures across the entire area fall in the afternoon and we won't recover back up to the 70 degree line for some time. Nighttime showers that will pass away through and mix with and change over to some snow as we head into your Friday morning insignificant accumulations and likely on grassy areas. So your planner for tomorrow, look at those flat lines, a little bit of a lurch upward in temperatures before they fall throughout the afternoon. Coldest weather tomorrow in the Devil's Lake Basin, 30s air, gusty north winds for all and passing late day showers of rain mixing with and changing to snow. Look at this eight year old photographer out there. Do you see the ghost in the sky right there? The face and everything. Kiana, thank you so very much. Planning forecast. Here goes the roller coaster ride. Mike Morkin. Cool Friday with most of the day quiet and we stay quiet through Sunday night. Then active next week seems to be the rule. Hold on. Hold on. All right, yeah. thanks. Up next, progress is being made on an RSV vaccine for seniors. We've got details to come.